Hey guys, it's me. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a vlog, a pregnancy update, <clears throat> but I've had a lot going on. Um, I am 33 weeks and one day, and um, it's getting very, very hard for me. I have had every symptom you can possibly think of, and I feel like this pregnancy um, was really good for a couple weeks and, or a couple months, I'm sorry, and then it slammed me. Um, <coughs> I have scoliosis, which is a curvature of the spine, and I have flat feet, which means I have no arch, no support. So those two things combined with this pregnancy and the weight has really, really got me down. Um, last night I was in tears because I was so frustrated because I have such pain in my lower back and my feet and my pelvic area that I can't function. I can't play with my son. I can't um, sleep. Every time I roll over, it shoots pain in my pelvic area. Um, I can't walk without it hurting. Um, so the only thing I can do is bounce on my yoga ball and that's the only thing that makes it go away and I can't obviously do that. Um, so I'm trying to, um, I have found that it helps if I do like, if I lay, I kind of lay around half the day and get what I need done half the day. I cannot go to the mall or go shopping or go to the movies or Chuck E. Cheese or take my kid to the water park because I can't last that long. Um, I can only have about a three, four, maybe five hour window before things start to get bad and I have to get somewhere that I can get off of my feet because I can't, I, it starts to hurt too bad. Um, I take Tylenol every four hours once it hurts and um, so yeah anyways baby is healthy baby is fine he um, he's moving he's kicking he's happy um, the nursery is pretty much complete I only have a couple more items that I'm waiting on and then I will do a nursery tour that will be up next week as long as well as a 34 week update um, after my doctor's appointment on Wednesday and I will also be doing a um, an unboxing I've had quite a few I'm gonna say six or seven maybe eight gifts that have come in the mail from subscribers and um, I've been saving them for one big um, you know unboxing I just haven't felt up to it and um, sorry what else and the uh, what's it called prenatal insomnia is a very big thing for me um, I don't sleep at night at all partially because I lay awake tired and I can't sleep but every single time I go to roll over from one side to the other and I lift my leg it's like pain in my pelvic area so uh, it's horrible um, I am swelling extremely. My doctor's monitoring monitoring me. My feet are swelling. My hands are swelling. My face is swelling. You can see it in my eyes and my cheeks. Um, so um, he has me drinking um, almost a gallon a day of water, which is a little bit of the reason why I'm swelling, but the reason why he has me drinking that much, much water is because he'd rather me be swelling from um, drinking wa just water intake, um, and my you know my body's just uh, keeping it in just to get ready for late for birth, um, versus it being like a sodium thing, and um, so yeah, I'm drinking a, a lot of water. There is my Osarka. I go through one of these a week, and it's a five gallon tank. Anyways, so. What else? Um, I had it all written down on my phone, and my I, I don't even know what happened to it. Um, my little boy is getting so excited about little brother coming. Um, I still have to wash clothes and hang all those up. Um, 
my husband's having a diaper party next Saturday, and then I'm having a garage sale the Saturday after that. I have my best friend, who is also pregnant, and my mother coming and helping me with that, um, just to get rid of all this stuff so that I can clean up the garage. We've done some remodeling. We've, um, you know, got two new, we did all new ceiling fans, all new doorknobs, that kind of stuff. Um, I only have about, uh, the only thing I have left to buy is breast pump. And I've been on Craigslist and eBay, and I'm just waiting to find one that kind of catches my eye. Um, I know I want a Medela. Um, so anyways, I did not breastfeed with my last son for a few reasons, and I'm breastfeeding with this one because I'm able to so far. Um, so I'm excited, but I'm super nervous as well. So, um, I will be doing a nursery tour and unboxing and a 34-week update that goes along with my doctor's appointment next week. And all three of those will be up. I promise they will be up. Um, my son is taking a nap right now. My husband has been so, so helpful. He kicks, cooks me dinner every single night. He comes home. He works six days a week. Um, well, five days now. He takes an extra day off just to stay home with us. Um just so I can have physically, I can just lay down and have a day of just in bed and let my body catch up. So um, if you have any pointers or suggestions for me, please let me know. Um, I have decided to do the placenta encapsulation just because how I'm feeling now has me even more nervous that I will um, have depression after the baby's born. Um, because I'm kind of expecting this just to leave after the baby's born. My doctor told me that that it may be a gradual process, um, so he thinks that doing that would be would benefit me greatly. Um, I'm happy. I'm not sad yet. I'm uh, just frustrated. So um, I will update you guys and post all those videos next week, so look out for them. And if you have any questions, just put them in the comment box below. And I will um, talk to you guys later. Bye.